As he shows them the magic and mystery of science in everyday living. Okay, let me see if I can do a bit of an overview on the controls. This is the local oscillator tuner. This is the antenna tuner. This is a real broad tuner. This actually is uh, our main tuning. And if we go over to the other side of the radio over here, we've got the RF gain control. Uh, of course, that controls the um, gain of the IF amp. Let me pull out this a minute so they're quiet. This controls the gain of the IF amp. And that's all we have for an IF amp right there. That is 6SK7. Uh, in here, this is the BFO. Turns it on and off, of course. Here's the BFO pitch. Let me hook up the audio amp again here. Uh, if I crank up the gain a little, you can hear what's going on. Uh, so that's all you have for controls. If you follow the circuitry and... I just got the antenna lying there. It's probably too tightly coupled, actually. There's the pentagrid converter. That, of course, is the oscillator and mixer. You can see the oscillator coil right there. And there's a little trim cap on the side that kind of sets your range. Over here, this is the antenna tank. And we do that same kind of trick where we've got a tap on there. So, uh, let me show you just a little bit about the tuning. Here's the main tuning, and this is sensitive. Well, now you can hear how broad this tunes. It's about peaked. You can see a tuned off peak. Sounds like we're getting a good recipe, incidentally. A little bit too much RF gain, maybe. Now you can hear what happens if I adjust the BFO pitch. Of course, if you turn the BFO off, then you don't get much. Okay, what else did we look at? That was the IF amp. This is the detector and audio. Uh, not only is it a detector and audio amp, it's a dual triode, but the other half of the triode is the oscillator, the BFO oscillator. And hiding back here, I've got an amplifier. Now that isn't stock. I, I just made that. And I tried to kind of make it match the rest of the receiver by putting it on a little board. It's got a 6F6 tube on there. Here's my 90 volts. Actually, I think we're down to about 70 volts right now. And uh, I just have a filament transformer lighting the filaments. Uh, show you how this comes apart. And there are the, uh, the coils. Of course, each coil has its own trim cap here, and they're both peaked. I think my IF frequency is about 455 kilohertz. If you look in the box, meanwhile, you can see that I have a, a septum in there. And the idea, of course, is you don't want the coils too closely coupled. One can hear the other one, but not very easily. And of course, that just lets the strongest frequencies come through. This is the uh, audio detector, and of course, if I touch the grid cap, I'm injecting a bunch of noise in there. My guess is to build the, you know, perfect band with right where you want it, you know. No extra offensive stuff. To all your energy right where it's supposed to be. Everything just right. Uh, with uh, the speed jam, I'm well below half percent. Uh, it's full out, but so super, super clean. Uh,
from CW. Well, now you can hear how broad this tunes.